Hey, my name is Nikolai, and today I'm going to teach you a single pattern that can drastically improve your automated functional tests. I believe that all of us at some point in our careers have struggled, and I know that some of you still struggle to make automated functional tests reliable, to actually make them pass when they should and fail when they should. And that's okay. That's really hard. I still remember to this very day how when I started doing automated functional testing, I could barely put out a single test in a few weeks. And whenever I did put it out, it would break as soon as the wind would blow. It was crazy and it was very sad. So today, I'm here to teach you that single pattern that can drastically solve a lot of your problems. It's not going to be a silver bullet, but it's going to help you to take a huge leap forward in making your automated functional test stable. First, I'm going to teach you why automated functional testing is actually really hard. Next, I'm going to give you a little bit of background, a little bit of history into the evolution of automated functional testing and how the code has gotten from the beginning state to where it is now and the logical reasons behind that. And leading all into the page object model and how the page object model came to be the way it is. Afterwards, I'm going to show you guys a functional test that's written utilizing the page object model. And then I'm going to code another test with you guys live to show you how to further expand on the page object model framework just in case you want to know what to do next. And after we're done with all that, hopefully you'll have an amazing tool inside of your toolbox to be able to write fantastic automated functional tests. I'm really excited to be here teaching you and I'm looking forward to the rest of this content. Let's go ahead and dive right in.